episode 158 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing a computer animated family comedy film that came out in 2015 that is directed by Pete Docter, and that stars Amy Poehler, Phyllis Smith, Bill Hader, Louis Black, Mindy Kaling, and Richard Kind, and that movie is Inside Out. So this movie has just started, and so far, our main human character, Riley, has made her introductory appearance. We are now seeing her emotions for the first time. That is a very broad range of feelings, you know. We are also seeing a young Riley growing up, and all her emotions, too. A lot of memories are sure being formed. Wow! So Riley and her family are now moving to San Francisco, California from Minnesota, which is where Riley was born earlier. Riley seems shocked and confused right now about living in San Francisco now that she has moved with her parents there. To be exact, Riley is 11 right now and is talking about going out for lunch, but little did she know that she discovered that her slice of pizza had broccoli on it. I, however, wouldn't mind it if I found broccoli on my pizza. Riley's Joy, one of our main emotion characters played by Amy Poehler, is engaging in a conversation with Riley Sadness, our other main emotion character who is played by Phyllis Smith. So Riley's Joy is now watching a movie in Riley's mind while Riley is sleeping. I sometimes have movies about my past, present, and future life playing in my head when I'm asleep too. Riley's other emotions are being assigned their daily jobs for the day while Riley goes about her day. She is now at her new school in San Francisco telling her new teacher and classmates about her previous life in Minnesota. Oh no! Joy and Sadness have been sucked up a tube in Riley's head, leaving her other emotions behind. What will they all do now? Riley doesn't seem very happy right now about her new life in San Francisco. Maybe it will probably take her some time to accept it. Her parents' own emotions are inquiring about Riley's current attitude. They seem pretty irritated, I would assume. Yikes! One of her main islands of personality, Goofball Island, has gone down. That probably means she is losing her goofy sense for now. Joy and Sadness right now seem lost in Riley's long-term memories collection inside her head. Oh, an earworm is being described. I myself have gotten plenty of those over the years, some of which not only wound up being irritating to me, but also to my friends and family as well. So Joy and Sadness have now come across Bing Bong, Riley's childhood imaginary friend, played by Richard Kind for the first time. Whoa! Bing Bong, Joy, and Sadness are coming across a section that makes them abstracted. That is very strange indeed. Thank goodness they are now back to their normal selves after that section, and now they have come across Riley's imagination land. Oops! Riley just took a fall at her hockey tryouts at a hockey rink in San Francisco. I guess hockey must be her sport. They are now in the area of her head where her nighttime mind movies that play when she sleeps are made. I often wonder how my own nighttime mind movies are made and processed when I sleep at night. We are now an hour into this movie and so far I am loving the dialogue in it both inside Riley's head and outside it. Uh oh, Riley is stealing her mom's credit card. That is not a good thing to do and also very dishonest as well. Joy finally managed to take off in a mini wagon on her way back to Riley's mind headquarters, but in the process had to leave Bing Bong behind. That is a too bad for Bing Bong, but at the same time, it was probably for the best of Riley's development in the long run. Joy is now making multiple clones of imaginary potential future boyfriends for Riley, and all are saying that they would die for Riley. Riley is now attempting to run away from her new house. That is a bad choice to make. I have sure made plenty of attempts to run away, and they all ended badly for me in the end. She is now confessing to her parents about how much she misses her previous life in Minnesota. I'm sure they are both understanding of all this. Well, new islands of personality are finally being made inside Riley's mind, and she got a new console inside her. Haha, <laughs> Riley just bumped into a boy on her way into the hockey rink, and that sure made his klaxon alarm shout, Girl! 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 That reminds me of what I am going through right now. So this emotional adventure has now drawn to a close, 
And now, Riley is 12 and finally accepted her new life in San Francisco. That reminds me of how long it took for me to accept moving to Thousand Oaks, California from Walnut, California, which is where I lived prior to living in Thousand Oaks. But then again, I can learn to accept future moves for me in my life, especially if I choose to do so on my own. Overall, Inside Out is a very cute, insightful, and funny family film that takes a great perspective on how we express all of our emotions. Join me next time when I review Chicken Run in honor of that film's 20th anniversary. I'm Flick James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.